Hi, this is Renee from Tippy.com, and this is iPad Apps. And today we're looking at Goodreader. Goodreader, you might be familiar with it based on the iPad, the iPhone application, but the iPad again shows the IMAX, the big screen approach. So instead of a bunch of tiny little windows that you cycle through, you get the big view. Um, here I have my documents. These are documents local on the iPad. I'll tell you how we get those in a minute. Here you have a bunch of windows you can cycle through. Preview. In the new version, you can actually tap the entire thing, not just the arrow, which I find much nicer. You can find files by name, uh, recently read, recently added, starred if you want to star any. You can manage your files by selecting them, moving them around. Um, this is a little bit futzy, but I, I don't know if there is a better metaphor for this yet, so I'm, I'm using it, I'm putting up with it. Uh, web downloads, you can browse the web, enter URLs in order to get documents off the web. It is a very good PDF reader if you're looking for large PDFs. Um, here is an example uh, of one that I actually brought off the... Marvel put out these DVDs with uh, you know, 25 years of X-Men, 25 years of the Avengers. This is one um, example uh, of the pages, and this is doing it in portrait view. You can, of course, zoom in. Marvel has this horrendous watermark in the middle of the pages you paid for, so bad on Marvel, but good on Goodreader for handling it. It's fairly snappy and responsive on the gigahertz processor on the iPad, so it's, it's, a, it's a good alternative, and this works for any PDF, not just geeky comics PDFs. Um, I also, you know, I was testing out some artwork for our podcasts, so I, I put it on here. Here's our new iPad Live podcast every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, www.tippy.com slash live. Oh, cheap plug! Um, you, can da you can delete any of these. You can... Um, here is telling me I can refresh this one. You can also connect to servers. I have my Dropbox here, so I can just click on my Dropbox. It'll bring up a complete list of my Dropbox. I can move through the folders um, to look at different things. I'm not letting you peek in my folders. So don't get any funny ideas. But if you have uh, uh, Box.net, iDisk, all sorts of different things. This also is a PhotoSmart um, local server that is picked up. I didn't even know that there was one in range, but Goodreader did. Um, little question mark will give you help. It was bouncing when I started it because there was a new update available. It tells you how to use everything. You have all your settings down. You have your uh, Wi-Fi transfer if you want to transfer things over Wi-Fi. The new version also uses Apple's um, sharing functionality, so you can use that as well. Different settings you have here, and you can set up a, a little lock if you want to there. So, uh, good reader for the iPad. No, not the iPhone the iPad, www.tippy.com.